as well as Apostle Bruce, uh, to First Lady Bruce, and to all of the constituents here on this roster today. I just thank the Lord for this opportunity for being here. So tired, don't know what to do. We drove to Alabama in one day almost and back to see my grandson at Miles College, and it was great. It's worth being tired. Yes, yes. On the road this morning, coming back, trying to make it to church on time. We said if we could just get in the house of the Lord, we know that everything will be all right. You are my pastor, my pastor Andrew Carter, First Lady Carter. Thank the Lord for all of the New Destination ministry people who came with us today. We thank the Lord for what you didn't have to do it, but you did, and I am ever so grateful. And when Sister Bruce called me and asked me if I would be the inspirational speaker, that sort of heart for me concerning time when somebody tell me, you're going to have this minute, these minutes, this minute. I kind of say, oh, Lord Jesus, you're going to have to help me. Because when I start to talk about the goodness of the yes. Lord, what he has done for me, where he has brought me from, yes. it's hard to do 10 minutes. Uh -huh. Really, really, really hard. Right. But I, I, I am obedient and will be in Jesus' name. So I just thank the Lord too. And I just want to say this when I saw people here from Lincolnton, Georgia. That blesses my soul. Born and raised in Lincolnton, Georgia. So these are my folk. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My folk, my roots are in Lincolnton, Georgia. Thank God for the theme today women of God using the power of God. And I, I, I don't know how us women would make it without the power of God. The task that has been given to us is so great, I just wouldn't try to do it without the power of God. And I'm thanking for the Holy Ghost today. Anybody thank God for Hallelujah. Just the Holy Ghost alone, but the Holy Ghost would burn and fire. Yeah. See, I don't understand the Holy Ghost the day that people get. Oh, I don't understand that. See, I got the Holy Ghost back in the day when you had to stay down oh, on your knees. Come on now. Until the fire comes. Y'all better hear me. Something was burning. Something would make you move. Something will make you do something. Something on the inside. Something was working in you. And it, was, it brought about a change on the outside. I thank God for the old time way, Holy Ghost. I the new one I don't think I'd be able to handle. But I thank him for the old time way. I thank him. I heard somebody say the other day that it don't take is saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh -huh. That's what they say. Don't take all of that. Uh -huh. you, you know, the Lord understands your heart. He knows. What, uh -huh. But you know what? Every Jesus that I say, uh -huh. something resonates uh -huh. on the inside. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't have to have anybody to pump me to praise him. chapter, the 39th verse, you remember when Jesus had gotten done doing all these miracles and the disciples had walked with him and saw what he had done and after he had, he was tired and all, he said let's get in the boat and go over to the other side. Y'all remember? And then when they were going over to the other side, Jesus was so tired, he went down in the boat and he went to sleep. That's what the word said. Uh -huh. That's right. And a storm arose. Uh -huh. yes. And after having seen all these miracles, 
and witness them, the disciples were so afraid they didn't know what to do. And you know what? They went down in the boat and they said, Jesus, don't you care if we perish? Jesus, uh, come on, mom. And Jesus told them, you a little faith. Uh -huh. You know what? He got up out of that boat. And the word said, uh -huh. y'all listen to what it said. What did he rebuke? What did he speak to? The word said, let's, let, let's read this a minute. Uh -huh. It said, and he arose and he rebuked the wind. Yes. And he said to the sea, what peace, peace, be still. Yeah. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Listen, we need power to know what to speak to and to know what to rebuke. See, some of us are rebuking some things we need to speak to. Y'all better hear me today. Come on, we got to get it right and use the power. Did you hear what I say? See, Jesus was all powerful. He knew what he needed to do to each of these entities. And he didn't treat them the same. Oh, y'all better hear me. You got down on the inside of you. You don't treat everything the same. Ah, right. uh, yeah. And the word that after the Holy Ghost come upon you, you should have power yeah. to be witness. Witness of what? Witness is when. Oh, yeah. uh, y'all better hear me. So what do you need? You need a relationship with Him yeah. to know what to rebuke yeah. and what to speak to. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You can't treat it all the same way. Do you hear what I say today? Women, we got power. And those of us that don't have power, you treading on thin ice. Because right. I'm going to tell you right now, you can't make it in this world without the power. You can't even do your job successfully. You can't be a successful wife. You can't be a successful sister. You can't be a successful anything without the power of God resonating on the inside of you. So if you ain't got the power, I suggest to you, you need it. Uh -huh. You need it. You're struggling right now because you need the power. You can't make some right decisions right now because you need the power. You don't know which way is up right now because you don't have the power. Come on, team. Y'all better hear me today. Uh -huh. You need to study that word every day after you, after you get the power. What you going to do with it? See, some folk got the power and don't know what to do with it. Oh, y'all better come on. That word, this word going to tell you what to do with this power. How to handle it. Y'all see what I'm talking about? See, some folk got power and it's just lying dormant in them. Some folk got power and they don't know nothing to do with it but to pick them up and pull them down. It's more to it than that. Oh, hallelujah. That power will make you live right. That power will make you do right. That power will make you treat everybody right. Y'all better come on. That down on the inside of you will have you praying, Lord, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. That power will have you doing things like that. And when you read this word, you got to have the power to make applications. Plenty of people know the word, they know it. The 66 books. But guess what? You can't live a tittle of it. You know why? Because you ain't got no power. You got to have power to do the word. Hallelujah. Anybody in here want to do something just because you don't have the power to do it, you can't. Oh, y'all, come on. If you don't have the power, you need to get it. You need to come on back to the altar. Mm -hmm. Get down on your knees, and I'm going to tell you the way I received it. I received it calling on the name of Jesus. Did y'all hear me? <laughs> and glory be to God. And I'm still calling. Been saved over 30 something years. And I bet I call Jesus more now than I ever. The word said, too much is given, much is required. See, I got more stuff on me now than I had then. Y'all better hear me right now. And, and, and I need the power to know how to handle it. I need the power to know what to do with it. Do you hear what I say? I need power to treat folk right. See, if you got the power and somebody do you wrong, you know what, you ain't gonna get away from them. Let me run away from these people. Oh, no, 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 you'll run to them. Oh, glory be to God. See, because he's given you the power to be a witness. And we can be a witness everywhere we go. 
I go to the Croc Center five days a week. And even when I'm out in the water, in the lazy river walking, I'm witnessing. I don't care where I am. Sit up in there with my bathing suit on and still witness. Y'all hear me? with your children, yeah. even in, in raising your own children. That power of God Come on now. you need to shut your Come mouth. On. Yeah. Oh, y'all better hear me. Just cause they your kids, you can't say in and everything you want to. Right. You better allow that power to tell you what to do. There are parents right now who, who don't have the power and they're driving their children away from them. Oh, you better pray and ask God to send you a Holy Ghost field teacher for your kids. Y'all hear what I say? Women, we got the power to pray for what we need. Do you hear whatever we need? We got the power to pray for it. But what happens when you don't believe? These disciples, they didn't understand. They could have spoke to the wind. Mm -hmm. See, that's some things in your life you can speak to. You better say it. Oh, ha, ha. But you're going to sit around and just, just, just let it just tear you apart because you won't use the power. Women of God, use the power. Use the power of God. Yeah. You got it. Don't let it lie dormant in you. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. That's not the reason why you have it. Y'all yeah. better come on right now. I mean, what all can that power do for you? The word already done told you what it can do. Yeah. Yeah. If you choose not to exercise yeah. that power, that's no different than folk who got the power to vote, but they won't even vote. I know y'all say, wait a minute, yeah, we don't need no politics up in here. Uh, and, 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 and Apostle Bruce, you just tell Michelle to sit down. But we got so much power that we won't even use. Amen. Amen. Power to get a whole lot of stuff done. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to shut my mouth when I think of Proverbs 31 woman. That was a powerful woman. She wasn't lazy. She went out and considered the field and she bought it. That's what the word said. She was the one who provided for the household. And that man that she was married to, nobody probably wouldn't have known who he was if it wasn't for her. All right, y'all ready? Anyway, God is good. Man, Come on, give it. 